Okay, guys, what did we do so far? We put on the nuts. Okay. Except there are two on the negative and the other positive. So we got everything except for the very far positive, very far negative on. We still didn't torque them down or anything, right? No. Okay. So we just got all the nuts on. We checked our voltages. Now we got to build a, a wire, right? Yep. Okay. So I'm going to be working on the floor here, so bear with me. If you see only the back of my head, let me know. All right. So I'm going to build a cable. It's going to go from here out. Like I said, the thickness of my hand then the thickness of that BMS and curve down. So I'm gonna see if I can get this cable, what that's gonna look like. So that's gonna look like that. So I need a piece that's gonna be roughly that long. without all the other stuff on it. Mm -hmm. Might be a little bit too long, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. right. Actually, let's get a tape measure, figure out how long this is. So when we build our other one, we can match it. Hold on one second, let me find the tape measure. Okay, so. That is six and a half inches. So, could have probably gotten away with six inches, but I didn't measure first. And I definitely didn't cut straight, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so I got some. Of course, I grabbed the bag that I didn't already open. Apparently, when I was test fitting things the other day, I just put it in this bag. There we go. Right, looks like there's a little insulation that I didn't get out of there. Hmm. Perfect. All right, and I want to curve downward like that. So when I crimp it, I want to have a bend in it already to help it go. Hmm. So let's get the crimper out. Where did I put that? There it is. As you see, it's never been used. Still in the packaging. So give me a few minutes to figure out how to use this thing, and then we'll get back to the video. Like, this was the one that came in the machine, and it had 10 on it. So I just assumed it was a 10 gauge. Then I started looking at these other ones, and they've got 70 and 95. I realized it's millimeter squared, so I have to figure out what the millimeter squared is for our two gauge wire. And I think it's the 70, but we'll soon find out. Mm -hmm. All right, millimeter squared to AWG reference. All right, so for a 2.0 is the 70. So it is the 70. And these two. All right, so that's what I need. And I put them in there. Oh, I would have done the wrong ones again. How does that work? Um, you got this 
hydraulic here one second let me get that tightened on there we have this hydraulic press similar to a jack on your car and it's going to push a piston in here up and squish these two together once it hits this bar mm. and this is going to be in the middle of that before it happens mm. so first thing i'm going to do is get this set up put it in my hole And I might be here for a while because it was very far back. I hit that crimp one more time, I think, just because I don't like the feel of that. I feel like I can pull that right off. See that? Yeah. I don't like that. So I'm going to do it one more time. on this and just go as hard as possible. Okay. Now does it still feel that same way? No, not at all. Okay, so that was tight. So I just got to crank these down a lot harder than I was. So I'm going to do both sides of that. Oh, much better. It doesn't feel like it's doing anything. Perfect. How many times am I going to say perfect and then go back and say, nope, I want to change it? Who knows? Who knows? Yep. All right. Works. Hey, where's that other, that other nuts? Oh, I put them oh, on the top. Yep, okay. So, from there, we're going to go to the B minus, the BMS, and I think the BMS is going to be better off on an angle like that, so when I can take my negatives off that way. So, we'll just do that. Mm -hmm. Times two. That was about an inch we took off. I'm gonna verify that. Yep, that's right where we need it. Thing you don't want to do without using the right tool. Let's get a little bit. Looks like I lost a little thread of copper right there. It mixed in with the dog hair. <laughs> so luckily I only looks like I lost two of them. Nope, that one's just one left over from the previous cut. <laughs> Alright, so I'm putting a good bend in this, so when I crimp this one on, it'll lock it in and that wire is not going to want to spring back as much. 
て。Can I try the first part of trying to do it? Of pressing in on this? Yeah. You can try, but it's really hard. Yeah, that's not moving. <laughs> Take it apart and test that one like I did the first time. What I was talking about the first part is like the just moving Getting it, it up. close to it. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> not the actually doing it, so I can't move it. Okay, so that's going to be our our wire, and that's what we got a little bit. Now it's probably a hair longer than we needed it, and then to keep with keeping things pretty. That's why the heat gun's out here. Let's put this on there. And this one's probably overkill. I need something I should I can cut on. Because I don't want to cut on the floor. Yeah. The BMS box. pretty now. Yeah, it's getting there. I just want to get the other side just as pretty. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see if we can get this out of the way. I was just used to cut. Mm -hmm. So what I want to do is just line this up so it's as close to this as possible but without getting on the flat portion underneath here. So that's what I was doing there. And I'm just get, I start up here at this side. So if it shrinks and shrinks away, I'm better off. But that way if it's, so if I start at the other side and too much goes away, it won't cover. Someone's getting too hot to handle. YouTube doesn't want to hear me singing Bobby Brown. So. <laughs> For a second. Yeah. All right, let's get this guy out of the way. And the hotted. Yeah, cooled off a bit. Just make sure if Scout comes by, let me know so he doesn't get his nose near that. And I'll clean up our trash, clean up our tools. All right, yeah, it does. Yeah, it's it's got a glue inside there, so you'll see the glue squish out a little bit, and that's and that's what's on Daddy's. Yeah, that was really hot. That's what's on. See the glue squishing out. Yeah. So that um, it does have a smell to it. So yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, babe. So let's get this up here. Are you? You're not filming. I am. You're filming my knee. So this is all going to be new to me. I've not done this part. Okay. Well, obviously, we're going to have to hook up to B minus, and that's why I went to the hardware store yesterday. A whole bunch of little stuff. This BMS did not come with any hardware. So I got a cap, cap bolt, lock washer, regular washer, 
Get it through here into the B minus. That's out a lot further than I was hoping it to be. So that's there. Now we got to go through and torque everything down. Plug this guy in. I just want to make sure these are torqued down before I do anything. Put this button, on. button on. Plug these wires in. And get the app up. Remember, I downloaded the app the other day. Oh yeah. All right. I need to get all that that portion going. So pause that. Okay. We took a break. Torqued everything down. Uh, now's the moment to plug it in. You ready to do that? Mm -hmm. All right, so the black one goes to where it says B minus there. Can you see it? Yeah. Make sure it's seated all the way in. And, and, the, it. Yeah, and the switch is going to go in that second one over there. So, so this, one. this one right next to my finger is the one in Chinese that is written monitor. Because hmm. there's a monitor that you could get. Now, I'm going to have to pause recording from this phone because this is the phone that I downloaded that app to and we'll pick it up with uh, the other phone.